what's up everyone? We're here at Zilker Park, one of my favorite casual courses in the whole wide world. Ratana and I are gonna be playing around before we catch our flight. We're gonna play here, then go to Barton Springs. Big news, Ratana cashed at her first major ever. Vanish, Huge. baby. She threw the vanish so well all week. I'm very proud of her. She averaged way above her rating. Good things. All right, hole one here at Zilker. Let's go. You got the blue rebirth envy. Hole one, you got a hex. There you go. You didn't have the hex in your bag this weekend, right? Mm -hmm. Here we go. It feels weird creating content like this because I'm not really used to doing it. And there's always like a little bit of reluctance, but I definitely want to do more stuff like this. But I think this round is more or less gonna be showing some good shots, showcasing Zilker. And yeah, I'll talk a little bit about what I'm throwing. As you can see, I'm throwing backhand. I'd say I'm able to get over 550 feet of power right now. So that's really solid. Um, feeling good about the return to competition in April. I'm signed up for Music City Open. Uh, I think there should be no problem starting by then. And really, really looking forward to it. Came down here to Austin, have really gotten a chance to kind of dial in some of my, uh, the bag because being in Colorado, all the discs fly different, differently being at high altitude. So getting a taste of what it's going to be like once I get back out on tour, throwing at low altitude has been a, a really good experience coming down here to Austin playing when Ratana was competing at USWDTC. So we got two weeks back at home before flying out to Alabama for my birthday, spent a little time there. I uh, get like a week of throwing shots before the start of the year in Nashville. So, looking forward to it. Tana with the beautiful detour shot. Heck yeah. Gotta go with the Envy, been loving this thing. There you go, boom, boom. The Nomad, such a good putter because it reminds you not to get mad. No mad. Do you want to talk at all about your experience at USWDGC? I had an amazing caddy. Who is that? It's this tall fellow next to me. Aw, mm -hmm. yes, I got to caddy for Ratana all four rounds, which is nice because usually when she plays, her tee times are so early in the morning and I want to be out there, but I'm also trying to go out there and compete and waking up that early and exerting myself isn't the best recipe for my success. So it's good to have a dedicated weekend for Ratana so I could give her my full attention out on the course <laughs> and uh, final round I was very entertained because she, she I knew she was like fighting for cash and she made some clutch shots down the stretch if you're watching the live coverage you might have seen her shot on hole 17 ripping headwind she's throwing my nitro skips off the beam on the right side of the basket, almost aces it, and she goes to cash a putt for birdie. Clutch moment. Pretty mm -hmm. awesome. Yeah, thank you, Nitro. Thank you, Nitro. I forgot my watt, so I'm throwing Ratana's. Hopefully, it's a tricky little flip up hyzer. Never been exposed to that. 
What was that? Cool. All right, if you want a flippy mid-range, the detour is it. Oh my goodness, she filleted it. I would say the detour definitely is kind of flippy, but it's more along the lines of like controllably flippy. If you want like a flippier mid-range, you probably want to go with a paradox or an uplink. But if you beat in a detour, I think a detour is like a beat up hex out of the box. Um, Rattan threw it really well. I think that was the only uh, mid in your bag, right? That and the, the tempo. Deflector. And deflector. I, deflector is a mid, but I always think of it more as like a utility. If you want to know what I'm playing with, it's the Electron Soft Envy. That's funny. And he is hunting with the Nomads. Nomads. I really love the pyro. I've been talking about it a lot, but I think this trip has really solidified that love. It's less overstable than I thought it would be but like a hole like this where the basket's just a little bit left and you don't necessarily want to like shape a flip up. I feel pretty confident about throwing this on just a baby Anheuser and letting it drift out. Just like that. It's such a unique disc and I, I love it. This is Eagles, but he let me borrow it for this tournament. I need one. <laughs> So if you know anyone out there that has a blue wrath, hit me up. The putt. Prism, Proton, Pyro. Yo. Some content in the pipeline. MVP just sent me all of their special releases for the OTB Open. So I would say in a week or so, Ratana and I are going to do a little bit of a challenge, throwing all of the new discs, showing them off, and uh, kind of giving you guys an idea on what to expect. For those. I'm really looking forward to trying them out. There's a lot of really cool releases in the pipeline. So hit subscribe to be on the lookout for that video. Just kind of a floaty shot. If we ace it, you unfortunately won't be able to see. But going with Glichigo Kurosaki, qualified Ichigo on a neutron glitch. Thank you, Joy. Oh, of course that's probably gonna ace it. That was so close. That like dropped right in front of the cage. If you haven't tried the Proton Envies, you should give it a shot. Oh, that's running it. Go! Oh. Woo. Nice. Maybe. For the record, I do jump putt now. Boom. Indies. Got the beautiful Austin skyline right there. Amazing view of the city. Austin has some pretty cool looking skyscrapers. Probably one of my favorite downtowns of any city in the US. Slightly longer hole. This is actually the first throw I'm ever gonna have with this here Proton Thrill. It's an out of production disc. Bertana was actually throwing it all this past weekend for more of her like utility shots. 
I have a Neutron one in the bag that is really nice. Absolutely love this disc so far. A little bit bummed that it's out of production, but I think I am acquiring a small stash, so I should be good. Oh, it's such a good disc. I love the stability of that disc. Look at this beauty. Pop top mayhem. Patent pending. Off the road. Oh yeah. Nice Get shot. A little bush. It's so interesting, like still wearing an MVP shirt. I'm like beyond excited. It's the most excited I've been to start a season in a long, long time just because the whole fabric and foundation of what I do feels different. And I am so grateful that I can have this feeling again. So Music City can't come soon enough, but I am going to be very productive before then. Got a lot of modalities I'm doing still to rehab, but I feel like I'm almost back to normal, at least how I was prior to the surgery. I think the forehand is going to take a while before I feel comfortable with that, but I'm hoping to at least have like scramble shots, like at least like a 200 to 250 forehand from the, for the start of the year. So very excited. Ooh, good run. Good run. The thrill of it. <laughs> for the thrill of it, hole eight, par three, 281 feet, basically dead straight. I'm going with Rebirth Envy. There's a log in front of it. That's probably like 40 short. Proton virus? Virus. A little flipped. Uh -huh. Two discs that I feel like I'm going to work in, but I'm not sure of yet. I had a glow stabilizer and a plasma entropy, and both of them weren't as overstable as I was hoping, but shout out to Joey, Joey Tamale. I was looking through his stash. He gave me this Neutron entropy, which is completely a different disc, extremely overstable, almost like a deflector, and then just a normal Neutron stabilizer, which is also significantly more overstable. So. I think I'm hoping to work these in. Um, great discs, but I just definitely need a little bit more time with them. So you'll see me throw them on the next hole. Headwind. Oh, he squeaks in there. Corner pocket. Hole nine, we got a little cutie. 188 feet. Shout out to Cal Longquist. He aced it the other night when we were playing. It was a cubby ace, but still sweet. I'm gonna throw both of these just to give you some insight. Uh, I probably go stabilizer. Like the stabilizer is probably the closest thing to like the P3X. Uh, maybe a little bit more overstable. Um, these Neutron ones compared to the Glow ones I was throwing, lower profile, feels better. So I think this has a pretty good likelihood of being like my standstill approach disc. See, I, I definitely didn't snap it as much as I could, but I like how I can throw it on a little flex Anheuser and have it drift out. And here's the entropy. I'll throw it kind of similar. <laughs> like I definitely threw that harder. Oh, oh my gosh. Definitely has some more tail, a little bit faster, push the, the backside. Still got to experiment with those two slots to, to dial them in. What you got, girl? What? What you got? What? What? What you got? Are we gonna walk her? She's long. She's way long. She's like 50 feet past the basket. Safety first. You're right. You're right. That part. Pretty significant tailwind. Alright, I like my putts release right now. 
sneaks it in. Ooh, Ooh. Sneaky, sneaky. As you can tell by watching, it's nothing too crazy. Like there's definitely some good line shaping, but just a really fun course. I think I like it so much because right down the street's Barton Springs. It's like probably the best part of Austin. You go grab some great food afterwards. So it's really just like a, it's an experience coming to play Zilker. That said, Watch out. the back nine is uh, a little bit more difficult than the front. And that's where we're going right now. Pull 10 is 367 feet. Pretty low ceiling, honestly. It's kind of hard to get it there, having it fly that low. I'm trying this Proton Servo. Keep it nice and low, nice and smooth. A little bit of nose up, hopefully. A little short. It's hard to get the the angle right on this hole. The branch is hard to navigate. Beautiful. Nice shot. Load of glitch in there. Make putts, throw glitches. Oh. You got the highway right there. Takes you where you need to go. You don't want to see that though. Look at all those blue bonnets. Uh, beautiful Texas. I try a little forehand. Photon. Just trying to like completely baby it, but let's we'll see. Super soft. I'm just throwing light forehands now, but that felt good. Proton insanity. Oh. oh, I'm gonna try to do the Gannon Burr putt. I'm gonna chuck it up over the branch, have it nose dive into the basket. Or it's actually more Kevin Jones. It's a Kevin Jones Gannon Burr hybrid. Oh, one more chance. Nope. I'm not gonna say much, it's so loud. Pyro. I completely missed my line, but it's good. All right. Insanity! Oh, sick! Nice shot. It's always slightly awkward filming these because you're the guy who is holding your phone selfie style while people are looking at you. But hey, you can't think about what others think. Am I right? I think so. Wind is picking up. Nice bird. 13, par three, 325 feet. Probably take a big hot, you know I'm taking a big hyzer. I'm gonna do it with my boy Sanji. We got a right to left wind too. Might be kind of hard to track, but. Go in the basket. All right, that's circle one. There you go. Oh, good run. Thank you. Oh, that's terrible. Ugh. 14, Rebirth Envy. 264 feet. Let's try an Acer on it, maybe. Oh, oh, God, oh, oh. Jump. That worked, nice shot. Good chase. Oh. Oh, no. Oh, 
the 309, hole 15, throwing the virus. Oh yeah, nice shot. I'm gonna give this Envy a try. Let's put it on a nice high line and let it do its thing. Oh, just squeak throw. A little bit too much angle, but I liked it. Standing in the cold, cold rain. I don't even feel the pain. Anything right above it. Uh, dang. Okay, I think I like it. Wind. The wind is definitely picking up. Hole 17 is pretty open. I'm gonna go with a pyro. I don't really know what the wind's doing. Not bad. Vanish. There you go. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to look for a disc that's good for headwind putting. And Nomad's great, but when the wind picks up, it becomes kind of hard to keep them on line. More like short jammers. Maybe this entropy will be it. The wind just slowed down right now, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna do Nomad. Oh, it's picking back up though. Let's try an entropy. Maybe just putt with the Nomad. Maybe for really strong headwinds, entropy. Or Pyro. I'm throwing this disc a lot. Last hole, 307 feet. Swing! Long putt. Going with the Mayhem. Final putt in Texas in the basket. I hope so. I'll cast it. Boom! See you, Texas. All right, baby, you got this. Boom! All right, everybody, that was around at Zilker. One of my favorite short courses in the whole world. Thank you for watching. Like, subscribe. Keep on dreaming. Peace.